So I think the benefits of aribulin in this patient um, are really illustrated well by the EMBRACE study. This study was an open-label phase three study in which approximately 700 patients who had had at least two prior lines of chemotherapy in the metastatic setting and had been exposed to an anthracycline and a taxane in the adjuvant or metastatic setting uh, were randomized to aribulin at a dose of 1.4 milligrams per meter squared day one and eight every 21 days or treatment of physician's choice which on the whole included chemotherapy treatment options. And those patients uh, who were treated on the study showed an improvement in overall survival of about two and a half months associated with the use of aribulin as opposed to physician's choice chemotherapy. I think these results are quite meaningful. As I mentioned, overall survival is an uh, ambitious endpoint for any clinical trial. It's tough to show a survival benefit in breast cancer because mainly patients live for many years and are exposed to multiple therapies uh, after progression. Uh, so this was um, very clinically meaningful for me to see a, a, a therapy that is associated with the survival benefit. In terms of tolerability, I would say that the therapy does offer certain advantages. It's very quick. Uh, there's a five-minute um, infusion time. It doesn't require pre-medications. allows for patients to get in and out quick from the infusion center. It's a single agent, as mentioned. And given the, the balance of efficacy and uh, toxicity, I would say that uh, it's been a therapy that I've used quite a bit in my practice, especially in patients that have triple negative disease. So the uh, 301 study, as mentioned, was a study that looked at the use of capecitabine versus aribulin in the metastatic setting for patients that had received one, two, or three, or in the setting of first line, second line, or third line therapy. And overall, the study did not show a benefit to um, aribulin over capecitabine, although there was definitely a trend noted. Uh, when a subgroup analysis was done, it was shown that the uh, patients that were triple negative did have a benefit uh, approximately on the order of five months over um, capecitabine with the use of aribulin. And on this basis, I've tended to incorporate aribulin into my practice for triple negative patients uh, earlier on if I can get it covered. The label indication is after two prior lines of chemotherapy in the metastatic setting. Uh, that being said, I think these data are meaningful to consider earlier use if, um, if insurance uh, is not an issue.